we got some news for your New York Giants fans. Uh, you guys are signing a new wide receiver slash tight end. I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, and his name is Kelvin Benjamin. Mario, I remember this guy. Uh, he was drafted by the Carolina Panthers in the first round in 2013. Uh, in that year, he had 1,000 yards as a rookie, which is pretty impressive. Um, but he hasn't played in the NFL since 2018. You know, after his time with the Carolina Panthers, he went to the Buffalo Bills and Kansas City Chiefs. But after 2018, he just hasn't um, – he hasn't seen the field since, but now he's going to be seeing the field again. Um, he's going to be another uh, going to be another player making a comeback. And in his career, Mario, he had 209 career receptions for 300, uh, 3,021 yards and 20 touchdowns. So it's it's decent stats. Um, and before I pass on to you, Mario, the article was written by Jordan Renan, who was an ESPN staff writer. So I'll let you start off first, Mario. Uh, what, what do you think of um, Kelvin Benjamin going to the New York Giants? Well, first of all, congratulations to Kevin Benjamin on joining the Giants. Um, look, I'm very hesitant about it, Nate. And the reason why I'm very hesitant is because they're going to be moving him to like a wide receiver slash tight end thing. Well, the Giants, again, I don't think really think they need any of that. You know, you got like Evan Ingram. I still believe you still have Evan Ingram. You just signed Kyle Rudolph. So there really isn't a lot of room for a tight end, number one. But number two, if you're going to use Kevin Benjamin as a wide receiver, I believe Calvin Benjamin can definitely make a difference in the New York Giants. I, I truly believe that if he goes back to the way he was playing with the Carolina Panthers, I believe he could definitely make an impact. Um, he's got to revive his career, though, Nate. You know, Calvin Benjamin, year after year, it just seemed like it was getting worse and worse. I mean, like, unless you want to count Buffalo, and Buffalo had 217, and then the next year he had 354, which is which is an increase in recent every, that year. But however... When you went to the Chiefs, you only had 26 yards. And the only reason was because that was such a stacked team. But when you really look at it, Nate, I think Calvin Benjamin, I think Calvin Benjamin, this is a perfect chance for him to re revive his career. Okay, because I, the Giants, they have decent offensive weapons, but not too many. But it all depends on where you put him. If you're going to use him as a tight end, I don't see it working. I don't see it working. You got three tight ends, and he might not even get a chance to see that much of the field. If you put him as a wide receiver – I think you could definitely make stuff happen with Kevin Benjamin. Now, am I going to say he's going to hit a thousand yards again? No, but I do believe that if you put him in the right situation, he could hit four or 500 yards, you know? But I mean, look, Kevin Benjamin, like you said, that rookie year with the Carolina Panthers, I remember it was a very good year for the Carolina Panthers. And then the next year he hit 941, not as impactful, but still pretty impactful for the team. He ended up hitting 475, ended up going to Buffalo, and that's where it kind of declined from there. But Kelvin Benjamin has a true chance he had to revive his career, you know, and be a part of the New York Giants and being a part of them winning the NFC East, or as we like to call it, the NFC least. So, I mean, I wish Kelvin Benjamin the absolute best of luck. I really do, because when he in his rookie year, again, he's a very talented wide receiver. You know, he's got all the traits that a wide receiver should have. He's tall, he's lengthy, he's physical. He was pretty fast in his years, but it just seemed like year after year, it would, he just kept declining and declining. And that's something I just didn't want to see from Kelvin Benjamin. But if Kelvin Benjamin can be put on the New York Giants and they put him in the right situation as a wide receiver, which is his true position, not a tight end, I believe he can really do, he can really make a difference, you know? But it all depends on what the New York Giants are going to do and what position they're going to put him as. So with that being said, I wish Kelvin Benjamin the best of luck and I'll pass it on to you, Nate. Yeah, absolutely. You know, best of luck to Kelvin Benjamin in New York. You know, again, I remember him in Carolina. He was really, really talented and really good, especially in his first year. Um, yeah, Mario, what I find really interesting is that he's he tried out as a tight end, which I find pretty interesting. But when you really look at Kelvin Benjamin, he's a very big human being. He's very, very right. big, you know. Um, you know, some people can argue that he's too big to be a wide receiver, which, you know, is, is why the tight end position exists. You know, it's for receivers that are too big to be a receiver. But, I mean, I'll, I'll say this, okay, Mario, in terms of the tight end position, obviously, of course, like you said, they they picked up Kyle Rudolph in the offseason, which is a pretty good pickup. Um, they got other things. But if – I'll say this. If they can get him working well as a tight end, I don't see a problem with it. If they can get it clicking and going. Right. But again, you know, we're used to seeing Kelvin Benjamin as a wide receiver, and that's his primary position. So you, you know, right. You know, and, and they, and like I said, like you said, they signed Kyle Rudolph. So, you know, to him being a tight end and then right. getting Kyle Rudolph, it just doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? It's like, who's going to start over here? So I do get why people do find this to be a little bit. Right. Eh, but, the other you thing, know? but the other thing, too, as well, is as a tight end, Obviously, you know, there's receiving tight ends, but you also got to know how to block. 
and you're blocking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Like, that's a wide receiver. Your job is probably to block that corner. As a tight yeah. end, your job might be your job might be to block the edge rusher. And the edge rusher is much bigger. Right, than yeah. Him. So they also got to teach him how to block, how to do zone blocking, how to block for a running back versus block for a quarterback. They got to teach him these, this type of stuff too. And he is a big dude. He's 6'5", 245 pounds. So he's a big guy. Yeah. But they got to teach Very him big. the fundamentals of being a tight end. But again, you have Evan Ingram. You have Kyle Rudolph. I don't see what type of impact he could really have as a tight end. I just right, absolutely. Him. And as a wide receiver and the physical traits that he has – I think that's the best time for him to revive his career is in that position of being a wide receiver. But like you said, he tried out to be a tight end because maybe that was his opportunity to get on a team. But again, if he, if he becomes a tight end, they got to teach him the right way. They got to teach him all the tight end fundamentals because it's not just catching the ball. You also got to know how to block. Right. Absolutely. And, um, you know, same thing with, like you said, with the wide receiver position, maybe the tight end position is the only way. Uh, we obviously talked about the NBA, uh, not the NBA draft, the, uh, the NFL draft, excuse me, uh, how the Giants shot the Kadarius Tony in the first round. So maybe that could have had an effect on it. You know, I don't know. I can't tell you that. But um, with that being said, you know, I do. I still wish Calvin Benjamin the best of luck, whether he's going to play with them primarily as a tight end or primarily as a wide receiver, whatever he can figure, whatever they can figure out. Uh, I do wish him the best of luck with that. I wish the Giants the best of luck in the NFC least. And, yeah, we'll just see what happens, Mario.